Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. In my previous video, I have gone through some DAX related questions. So in this video, I am also going through some other DAX related questions. Before going to the interview, don't forget to practice everything and try to provide some examples whenever they are going to ask you some DAX comparison related questions or any DAX function related questions. Let's jump into the questions, okay? So our 24th question, what is the purpose of summarization in any data analysis or BI project? That means for any industry, millions of transaction data have been captured. From this large table, we can prepare a summary table using aggregate logic and display a summarized visual. Now performance of visual will be faster if data is fetching from the summary table instead of the detail table which has raw data. You will get more optimized reports for a better experience. Okay, this is some basic question. Maybe from if someone has one year experience or two years experience in Power BI or in BI project. So this type of question can be asked. Next question. Which functions are you going to use for summarization? There are mainly three functions. Summarize, summarize columns and group by. Do you know what is the difference between summarize and summarize columns? Summarize functions has both the context, filter and row. Whereas summarization columns has only one filter context. So in comparison with summarize, the summarize columns function produce an optimized query plan. It means it has to perform lesser steps when the engine run the queries. So definitely based on our situation, we need to choose which function we are going to use in our project. Next question. If you observe group by and summarize both have the same syntax, then what is the difference between them? Group by differs from summarize and summarize columns in the expression section arguments. Group by only works with DAX iterator functions. So it uses sumx instead of sum average x rather than average. For specific scenarios, it works. So I would suggest before appearing to the interview, please go through some examples. You can refer my video or blogs. Next question. What is the difference between calculate table and calculate? In terms of functionality, calculate table is the same as calculate function, but the difference is in their output. Calculate table returns a table, whereas calculate returns a value like an integer or a string. Next question. Calculate table and filter both functions return a table. Then what is the difference between them? First point, both have the same syntax and will generate the same number of rows. But there is a difference between calculate table and filter function in terms of formula interpretation. Just try to remember this word. In terms of formula interpretation. Calculate table first work on filter context then evaluate the expression. Whereas filter iterates the first expression result and it is not working on the filter context. Okay. Next question. In spite of having a relationship between two table, still we are using cross filter. Why is it so? Cross filter function is used to implement a specific cross filtering behavior in a calculation where a relationship exists between two columns. Okay, this is some example data table which you can use or you can use some example from your project. So we have two tables. So they have joined with the product key. Now we create a table with year sales and product count here considering products from product dimension. So here is the output, but this is wrong. The product count is repeating for each year. What is the solution? 
to solve this if we are going to change the relationship between these two tables as both cross filtered direction then how will you solve the problem but we want to use this cross filtered direction only for this measure so here we can use this cross filter function and recreate the measure so this is some example measures you can use in your project okay next question what is the purpose of the user relationship function the user relationship function does not return anything it specifies between two columns to define the relationship for a calculation it uses as an argument for other functions like calculate calculate table etc so i would suggest before going to the interview just practice some example how you can use this user relationship function and if you need any help just go to my youtube channel and you can find out this example what is the difference between related and related table the related function returns a column from another related table it requires a relationship between the current table and the related table it follows many to one relationship without mentioning a relationship it will not work now this related table returns a table of values it considers an existing table as a parameter it follows one to many relationships which means you need to create the measure in that table that is holding one information okay just try to remember related is returns a column from another related table and related table returns a table of values okay go through some example also next question why do we need a date table in power bi in any data set which is set for a data analytics project we can find the date information so for any data analytics project we need this date information after importing the data set the date column is automatically recognized as a date and created a hierarchy but sometimes we need a separate date table if we want to use the time intelligence features of power bi then our main requirement is to create one date table in the data model then to create a proper star schema data model also we need this date table what is the difference between calendar and calendar auto functions for the calendar function we need to provide the start date and end date whereas for calendar auto function power bi automatically finds the start year and end year from the data model where some date fields exist could you please tell me some common date time dex function which you used in your project there are 23 date time functions when we create a date table just try to remember we have to use i not we when i create a date table some functions are very common to use for example date year month week number week day today date diff etc how to handle multiple relationships to the date table in any data set if we have two date fields for example order date and ship date then there are two ways to handle it first creating duplicate fields that means the calculated measures using active and inactive relationship between the fact table and the single date table also instead of creating duplicate fields for each measure we can create different date tables for example one for order date and another for ship date so from a maintenance point of view it is a better solution but it is complex to display the order cells and ship cells in the same report so i would recommend based on your project requirement you just need to decide which option you are going to follow if you want to use the time intelligence function in your project then what are the points we need to remember first okay to start with the time intelligence functions we need one date table in the data model as well as date table should meet the following requirements a date column with date type data type unique values for date column no missing values or blanks and the date column should cover full years okay so these are all some points just try to remember 
how many types of categorization are available in DAX time intelligence function? There are two main categorization. One is summarizations over time and another is comparisons over time. Give some example for summarization over time. These functions are related to year to date, quarter to date and month to date. With calculate function, we can use dates YTD, dates QTD, dates MTD functions. Without calculate function, we can use this simplified DAX function. Total YTD, total QTD and total MTD. Give some examples for comparison over time function. That is sample period last year, date add also and parallel period. If you need some practice example, I would suggest go to my YouTube channel and you will get some example. Have you heard about related functions? I feel already I have explained this question, but still I just try to capture some possible questions related to this function. Next is when we can use this function or can it work if there is no relationship between the two tables. So uh, these are some varieties of questions I have just tried to capture for these functions okay now is it related function work in which context row or column this function scans all the values in the specified table irrespective of any filter conditions so this function can work only in a row context so there is some explicit questions related to this related function suppose there is no relationship between two tables and we want to fetch one column value of table 2 from the table 1 how do you do this will the related function work here no the related function will not work here because it needs some relationship between two tables then in this scenario we are going to use this lookup value now this function helps to search for a value from a lookup table here we have this table 2 and that is unrelated to the main table containing the source value okay so they can ask you this type of questions first they can ask you the related function related questions then they can ask about if there is no relationship then which function you are going to use so you can use this lookup value function next question can you give us one example where you need this lookup value you can give some example this row level security where we need to use this lookup value function how related table function can help you? I have used these questions before that but still I have just tried to capture this question and answer separately so that you can remember this function as well as this example. Okay, So this related function is another type of relationship function Okay, and if I need to calculate some dimensional information for a fact table then I will use this function and this is the example. Now this is an example, a user wants to see how many times one product has been used in the sales table. That means product count of the sales table. In this case, I need to create the calculated columns. Okay, next question. If in your data model, you have active and inactive relationships between two tables, then how will you calculate measure with the inactive relationship table? In this scenario, I will use this user relationship function that does not return anything. If you can remember, I already talked about this function and with some example also. But here I am trying to address some different type of questions related to these functions. Okay, So it specifies between two columns to define the relationships for a calculation and it uses as an argument for other functions like calculate and calculate table etc so this is the example like the date table example if you can remember if i have two date tables in the data model and there is an active join between the sales table and the date table using the order date and an inactive join using the ship date so to create any measure based on the ship date i can use this user relationship function within the calculate function now, if you can remember this table already you have seen in one of my questions where 
you are explaining this example but it could be possible interviewer can ask you this similar type of questions where they are providing you this example and they are asking you this question like we have one issue in the below report can you identify that if yes can you solve the issue okay so here you can explain this third column has the repetitive value and it means despite the relationship mentioned between sales fact and the product dimension the filter context is not applied as per the requirement so if i will change the relationship between these tables as both cross filter direction then all other measure will be impacted but i want to use both cross filter direction relationship only for this measure here i can use the cross filter function now next question is have you used the selected value function in your project yes i have used this function in general this function returns the value of a column which has been filtered to one distinct value only so you can give this example like if i need to calculate one measure based on a particular column value then i can use this so this is the syntax for this function so our 50th question is what is the difference between selected value and values whenever they are going to ask this type of question just try to provide some example because it will help you to explain step by step also your answer will be clear to the interviewer okay now this is uh, one example you can provide also for the values you can use this has one value call for one column and this syntax so from the above two expression i will get the same result but i will use selected value to solve this type of problem so why is it so for selected value i am using one dax function whereas for the values i need to use two dax function and also it returns the result more efficiently and elegantly whenever i am going to use this selected value i hope you understand this dax related question and you got some idea about what could be the possible questions related to dax and if you like this video please share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching